Welcome to Be Bold Branding. Today's guests are a mother-daughter real estate team out of Knoxville, Tennessee, and they actually moved to Knoxville during the pandemic last year, and they decided to build their new brand at that same time too. They're fearless. So today we're going to share their brand face journey and tell you how it's working for them so far. I'm Tanya Eberhardt, the founder of Brandface. We help real estate professionals differentiate themselves and we do that through personal branding. In fact, we're the only comprehensive personal brand building system across the globe. And I'm Michael Carr. I'm the COO of Brandface. I was actually a client before I became a partner in the company. And we do Be Bold Branding to help you take the fear out of putting yourself out there. And now we'd like to welcome Jamie Dorn Lane and Nikki Dorn to the podcast. Two ladies that are not afraid to put themselves out there. Hi, ladies. Hi, Hi. there. We're so glad to have you here today. I can tell you it's been such a huge pleasure to work with both of you. And you actually started in different states because yeah, Nikki got stuck down in Florida, right? During right, the pandemic, fun. Jamie had moved, but they couldn't get together for, it was almost a year, wasn't it? I Close thought, to yeah. a year, about eight months. I thought so. I thought so. So, so let's start by going back to kind of the beginning of your real estate career. Tell us how and why each of you got into real estate. I'll go ahead and take the lead on that because I'm the one that started in real estate and brought my mother on board with me. So the reason I started, I was doing advertising and marketing and I loved the client interaction, but I didn't love the politics of it. Mm -hmm. And so I ended up getting into a job in property management and then um, kind of naturally went into real estate and found my niche when I was in Florida working with the 55 and older crowd. And so was had a successful business there, but wanted to move to Knoxville, Tennessee. And so opened up my own brokerage there, but uh, brought my mom on board with me back, um, actually, because I was getting married and I couldn't find anybody to help that was uh, wanting to show houses. So even trying on my wedding dress, I was taking calls. And so she got her license. We knew we wanted to work together someday. And she was in the CPA business, payroll director. And I didn't want to go that way. So she joined me in real estate. <laughs> That's yes, fantastic. I would say in addition to that, um, so I'd always been in management and payroll director for major corporations. But um, Jamie, being in real estate, we never, ever saw each other. And we were very close. Uh, she had moved to Orlando. I had been moved from um, the uh, or, um, Oregon area, Seattle and um, Portland, and uh, came out to see her. She worked on the weekends. I worked during the week, and I just never saw her. And um, I, that wasn't the way we wanted to do things. So she was getting married. She says, I really need help, and I can't get anybody to work the hours I want them to. So, Mom, will you do it? So oh, it's worked out great for us. <laughs> that is fantastic. I love the wedding dress story. I can just picture that. You're trying on a wedding dress, and you have to answer clients because there's nobody else to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll like this then. I actually was walking, about to walk down the aisle, and I took a call from an inspector. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm about to walk down the aisle. Can you call uh, this person covering for me? So it's oh a real true life. <laughs> oh, wow. that might be one of the best ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's dedication, folks. That That's is, what it takes. It is. It is. <laughs> true. Oh, and you you guys are in one of my favorite cities on earth. I've been to a lot of them, but uh, Knoxville has always been one of my favorites. I, I did a lot of business for in the 90s in, uh, in Knoxville in the car business. It was fantastic. Great people. Fantastic people. What made you decide to come into the Brand Face program? Well, so um, what really led us to it was kind of, I think it was one of those meant to be things because I had on Facebook um, seeing a class for a uh, title company that was doing some different classes and you guys were going to be a guest speaker on that and immediately I just felt so comfortable and I talked to my mom I says we got to beat these guys this is really um, starting a new business in a new town in the pandemic it was kind of where are we going to go um, in Florida we had a very successful business we had a lot of leads but coming to a new area uh, we just really needed something that would be an identifier for us that would set us apart. And so it was just really that first meeting, I said, let's 
do it. And uh, had a call with Tanya and we were on board from, from the beginning. Yeah, I would say too, uh, Jamie was very, very excited about it and uh, called me, said, we just have to do this. So I looked online at your different information and thought, well, those guys look like people we would really like to do business <laughs> with. So I said, yep, let's go for it. And um, it all started there. And haven't looked back. Nope. Yeah, we're so glad you did. We have definitely been blessed with you being in the program. I can tell you that. It, it, you guys have started and ran with it from day one, which was really what it takes, yeah. right? And what this podcast is about is explaining that. And uh, I, I cannot think of anybody that has pushed it harder or better than you guys right out of the gate. So You sure have. You oh, sure that's, have. A, that's a pat on y'all's back. You really dedicated I can see your people that make your mind up. And once you do, you're, you're full bore. And that's good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and, and this leads right into the next question. Even though you might have kind of been a little apprehensive or even afraid of some things coming into the program, were you? Was there any, anything concerning, you know, thing, anything you were worried about as you were coming in? Well, I guess the one, the original thing was cost because you know we were starting a new business, how to get new offices, new licensing. And it was something where we really talked about that because we knew we needed it. We just didn't know how we could get it. And it was something that we really decided we have to invest in this and it would pay us back tenfold. So um, we decided to go full on board because I think on the first call, Tanya and I talked about maybe doing the step-by-step -step on your own and we were kind of looking at, okay, do we do this or do we really just go the full gamut? And we decided, go for it all. We're gonna do it and so happy we did. I think for me, when I saw the list of assignments, things we had <laughs> to do to get done, when I had just moved from Orlando and um, everything was so overwhelming and I was um, worried that we'd be able to get to it, but uh, Jamie's such a trooper, she just jumped in and did everything. and. And she's the creative one. And I was looking at it as an overwhelming task, but uh, it wasn't just like, trust the process, it works. And uh, so it, it worked. You guys did good with us and uh, held our hands through where we needed it. And it was, it was good, definitely. Excellent. We're so glad to hear that we because are. it's one of the things we work really hard at is not just having that authentic brand for you, but making it as easy as possible for you because you don't have an easy job. Right. Um, and you're constantly working. And so if there's a way you can develop that brand all throughout and keep working and just keep pushing through it then that's where the magic comes in, right? So we worked long and hard to try to really simplify that process as much as possible. So it makes us really happy when we hear things like that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so let's get into the meat of things. How about your brand? Tell everybody what your brand identifier is and how that fits you so well. Yeah, so we weren't totally sure. Um, we were given some multiple ideas of what brand and one just, totally put us to a T and that was the lifestyle locators. So working with the 55 and better crowd, um, looking for lifestyle, um, but it actually fits with any generation too. It's kind of, you know, our saying used to be, we saw the lifestyle and the home comes with it. So this just hit us to a T. It's all about the lifestyle and um, we couldn't be more excited about our brand. And we were in Florida doing um, the, like we said, the 55 plus resort community. So we had worked with hundreds and hundreds of people that, uh, and we'd listened to their story about um, what, they, what they're looking for, what they want different in their life than what they had currently in the house they were in, whether they wanted to um, get a smaller house, more manageable, have a second house, split time. But we really knew from talking to so many people the different styles they were looking for in the lifestyle and we could talk to them get comfortable with what they're looking for and show just the right area for them so um so that stuck with us lifestyle locators that's what we do and yeah. here in knoxville we have a, a lot of lifestyle there's the outdoors there's the water and so we just really have been able to make what we did down in florida work up here in knoxville for us too 
we were finding as the pandemic was hitting, where we had so many people moving into Florida because they wanted that lifestyle. They wanted to play pickleball. They wanted all these clubs. And then um, with things changing during the pandemic, it was more pulling back and people wanting to be back to their close to their families, you know, or go into a combined living situation with their families instead of going off to the resort. So anyway, so that fits us here in, in uh, Knoxville for sure, where people are more interested in family and community than being off in a resort. Mm -hmm. and, and it's interesting how different things in life can, can change your lifestyle. You know, COVID changed a lot of lifestyles. It really did. And that made what you guys do even more important. You know, whatever the reason for it, whatever you're seeking, whatever you desire, we're going to help you find it and, right. uh, you know, help you locate that lifestyle. So I think it was just perfect for you guys. And you just, like, as Michael said, you just dove right in. And uh, I think that, um, you guys had one of the best photo shoots that I recall in mm -hmm. the brand face program. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I loved it. So, so here's the next question is uh, what was the easiest part about the brand face process? And then what was the hardest part for you guys? So I think the easiest thing was how you guys had it set up with the steps. And so there was a nice process. There was the structure that kind of helps make it not so overwhelming. Um, and so that made it easier because it was like, okay, here we're gonna complete this step and then we're gonna complete this step and then it really all just wrapped together. So um, I would say that was definitely the easiest. The hardest was probably the photo shoot. And um, it's something that we've never done full body shots. We've never kind of thought outside the box. It was always that really to our head shot. And you guys really stretched us on that. And I remember you saying before our photo shoot, have fun with it. Just Absolutely. relax and have fun with it. Yeah. And I tell you, that turned out our favorite photo shoot too. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. love our pictures and it's something we would have yeah. never done, never done before. It, it turned out to be a really fun event and we were really intimidated. And we got there and we kept thinking, okay, Tanya says, have fun with it. So we just looked <laughs> at each other and said, okay, here we go. And uh, it was fun. And uh, we were really happy with the results. Oh, that makes us so happy because it is, it should be like you, you need to show the great personalities that you have. And, and it's easy sometimes to show that to people when you're at dinner or, you know, or even to your clients a lot of times, but you have to remember to put that in front of the camera because that's what you need to attract the other people right. that need to know you're have that great fun personality too. Right. And so for you guys to listen to Tanya's advice, I know what that felt like. I had to do the same thing back in the day. Uh, it, it was cool, but she right. hated it. I did, like everybody else. <laughs> like nobody. At first, we're all the same. I'm like, I don't do that. What? And she's like, Have yeah. fun, you know. Like, Stand this way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we all need Tanya in her ear for a That's photo right. shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Directing, you know. Yeah. You guys had so much fun, and you came back with the pickleball and the golf, golf photos yeah. and the. Oh, and and then the binoculars and uh, um, and then the that, oh, you're you're Jamie, you're standing the heart, there with your yeah. the heart hands. It, mm -hmm. it, I couldn't do heart hands. <laughs> it, awesome. It it was just, it showed so much personality, and it also uh, also showed the connection between the two of you. Yeah. You guys have such a great like instinctual connection between you and that yeah. i think that shows with your clients too because mm -hmm. they know where one leaves off the other picks up or where you leave off with them the other one knows exactly where that point was mm -hmm. right exactly yeah. yeah that's always helped Ying us and the yang as we say michael and i have that you mm -hmm. know that yeah, yeah like he where his thought ends mine begins and vice versa we just finish each other's sentences and i think that's probably the way it is with you guys too Mm -hmm. It yeah. definitely is. Yeah. 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 I have another idea of uh, what was the hardest thing. And that was when we were putting together our bios because we had to really get vulnerable. And um, we told you things we never would have said to anybody. And after the rewrites and all of that, it was a fabulous job you did. It really, you know, it felt like us. You nailed us without making us feel ridiculous or whatever but uh anyway being that vulnerable was very hard but the product was outstanding you did such a great job 
the outcome was amazing. Mm -hmm. And we did a lot of tears through it, but it's something that we're so proud of. And now it's before it's kind of like with the bio where, you know, how do I talk about myself? And this just put us into a hu being humans and having faults, but also really good at what we do. And it just really was astonishing how good our bios right, turned out. Right. It showed how we persevered through yeah. all kinds of obstacles. And and um, it was it was a pleasant journey. Thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, thank that you for just heart. trusting that. Yes. I think it's one of thank her you. of many, many, many talents. I think it's one of her yeah. greatest is she has that ability to help you realize the goodness in you and that these steps that you've gone through are all human. We all have them. Mm -hmm. And then your ability to overcome those are what makes you so fit mm -hmm. to help other people that also are human right. and also have things and also have right. things right. that imperfections that we overcome and I, I do I have to brag a little bit on my partner here yeah it's, it's worth it yeah. oh, <laughs> sweethearts thank yeah, you so she's much really good at it but you know there the uh, perfection does not exist and in this social media world where we try to put it all out there and try to you know and you see so many people trying to be perfect it's uh people don't believe it Right. <laughs> they don't believe perfection. Yeah, because right. yeah, it doesn't exist. And and mm -hmm. when you yeah. hear somebody's story that's just like, wow, that person's been through a few things, or you know, that person's overcome these things, and they find things in common with you. Um, and if they don't have something in common with you, someone they know does, mm -hmm. you know, and and it makes that human connection so much more real. And I just believe that's what the authenticity behind Brand Face is all about. Is just what is your real story, right? Yeah. <laughs> what is your real story? Yeah. And maybe right. we'll do a maybe we'll do a podcast on that. What's your real, What's your real story? story? Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, because that's really what it's all about. It's like don't give me your fake, you know, Facebook story. Give me your real one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, and I think your process pulled that out of us too, because like she said, there's a lot of things we wouldn't have necessarily shared, and it was something that we did let ourselves <clears throat> be so vulnerable to it that it just made the whole thing excellent. But had we not had that comfort or that mm -hmm. structure, I don't know how we would have got that out of us. So, well, so trust in the process. Yeah. Thank you for having trust and confidence in us. Absolutely. So that's a great segue into my next question for you, which is one of my favorites. Uh, how does your brand make you feel bolder in what you do? Well, I'll start with that. Um, so it really has given us an identity and especially we, we own the brokerage. So we're partners in the brokerage, but nobody really cared what our brokerage was in the sense. It was kind of like, oh, okay, I've not heard of that. So for us, now people know who the lifestyle locators are. It's Jamie and Nikki. So it really has made us stand out against some of these bigger um, you know, Keller Williams or Charles Ruttenberg or any of those kind of things where we now are not Blue Vista Realty, we're the lifestyle locators. And it's something that people remember us by. Um, we stand by it. It's kind of like, this is who we are and we're selling you the lifestyle. So, yeah, we see that uh, Jamie does a lot of networking here in Knoxville. And uh, as she's been back on different calls with different people, um, then they're saying, oh yeah, you're the lifestyle locators. So they you know, it. they didn't have to remember we're Blue Vista Realty. Right. We're the lifestyle locators. I love it. Well, I want to I say this too. right off the bat. I, I uh, praise you for being indie brokers. It is something that we need a lot more of. And I think that we are definitely going to see a lot more of over time. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not saying big box brokerages and things like that don't do not have their place in our um, in our economic community. I think they do, just like I think Zillow does and iBuyer movements do and things like that. But they all are a tool in a bag, and right. if you can utilize that tool for your own, in, you know, 
business to be grown, then you should. But uh, but I just thank you guys for being indie brokers because I'm an indie broker and I know uh, hundreds of them across the nation. They all agree with the, the decision to do that. Uh, they have agents that agree with that decision. So that is a bold move in and of itself that I, I'd like to really yeah. pat y'all on the back for. Yeah. And, uh, and like you mm -hmm. said, though, to take that brand and be known as those lifestyle locators just takes it to another level. And uh, you guys are doing that fantastically so and i yeah. i i want to say i love this bold move too guys because the first time you said it i thought oh this is fantastic you know blue vista realty is the name of your brokerage and i love the name Not right and mm -hmm. when we were thinking about you know matching up the brand identifier lifestyle what you were going to be known for your lifestyle locators we took that into consideration too. Vista means view or vision. It's like that vision if you're envisioning the lifestyle that you want, right? So there's a connection there. There's there's rapport between those two things. But when you said to me, people don't know us for for Blue Vista Realty. They don't they don't think of us that way. It's a hard thing to admit that because that's your baby, like that's your business. But right. you also. Uh, understand from a marketing standpoint that your business isn't always like people that's not how people would describe you right and right. you your brand identifier either states who you are or what you do or stand for well lifestyle locators is who you are and there is a big difference you can have both coexist beautifully you can be proud of your business and your business name and at the same time present yourself with what you want to be known for underneath that business name mm -hmm. and so it all works beautifully and i think you said it better than anybody said it on these interviews before I really like that and because it's hard to say those kinds of things. It's hard to say, I'm not known for my baby. Nobody cares about my baby. They care yeah. about what I do, right? <laughs> and it's hard to, it's hard to say that sometimes, but I, but I love the thought process behind it. Well, I and that. I also love how you did kind of marry the two. So you use the same colors and our logos together are just uniform it looks mm -hmm. slick together so mm -hmm. it's kind of one of those things where it wasn't we had to give up blue vista realty but that wasn't our, our identifier lifestyle locators is exactly yeah there's a difference between a business name and an identifier what that business stands for or what who that business you know who is that business you know exactly. and and that's that's the difference between the two okay so Tell us how your brand so far has set you apart and helped you secure business. So our brand has definitely helped us have that identifier as far as working with retirees that were looking for the lifestyle we've been able to market. Um, so specifically, like I said before, we're in an area where water is really important. So having a boat, lots of people have a boat here. So we've been able to do marketing where have your boat close to your home. So it's just, we've really been able to build business in that sense. And we're still new enough to the area, um, but it's already, we can see the growth of it, of having clients come in and knowing who we are. If they wanna be in a golf community, if they wanna be what is important to them, their lifestyle, as opposed to the home and we can pair and match it. So it's definitely helped grow in our business and give us that kind of, we're the go-to people if you're looking for a lifestyle as opposed to just a home. Perfect, yeah, exactly. perfect. That's exactly what we wanna hear, guys. All right, so next question is really a, a little setup and then a question. There are many business owners out there, all kinds of entrepreneurs and sales pros that, that right now are a little worried about putting themselves out there the way you have. What would you say to them about becoming a brand face? I say your only regret is if you didn't do it sooner. So it is one of those things where it has been really a game changer for us, where we didn't have that identity or I guess even that confidence. And now we have the confidence, we have the identifier, we know who we are, we know what we stand for, and we can go out and speak that to anybody. And so um, don't hesitate, go for it. Let your, you know, trust in the program. It's phenomenal. You will not regret it. And anytime we hire an agent, that is definitely something that is going to be a, a good option for them because it truly does set you apart from everybody that's out there. I mean, you can be in a room with a hundred realtors. How many of them have an identity other than the fact that they're a realtor? We, we have that. We're, we're the lifestyle locators and we're proud of it. 
I think that's true. And I think it's a little easier when you're meeting people in a business setting with having the identifier, because otherwise it's like, okay, I'm Nikki Dorn. And it's like, uh, so what, you know? But if I'm Nikki, the lifestyle locator, that that's not as, I don't know, threatening to me or go back to the vulnerable, you know, mm -hmm. I, I can be bold. I'm, you know, not just me in a meeting. I, I am the lifestyle locator. So anyway, it's, it's helped. The whole package works. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I love that. And I love that you point that out because one of the things about uh, having a brand is it's very important for your clients and potential clients to realize how that's going to make their life better. And the, obviously, it's great to be Nikki Dorn, and you're a fantastic person. Obviously, and if they know you that they they, they know that about you, they're going to say that about you. But we don't. We live in such a busy society. People don't give us an opportunity to to show them our friendly side or show them how we're really going to care for them and show. And so, when you say that I'm the lifestyle locator, that is the they need that they automatically say, okay, that's I'm looking for the lifestyle. So that's. You know, and if you just say your name, yes, of course, that you're still a fantastic person that fills that brand identifier, right? But the right. minute you say the identifier, the pressure's off of you as a person. Right. The pressure's on that brand right. identifier that shows them, you know, this is about me. Like this, right. I'm the one looking for the lifestyle. So it's, yeah. it definitely <laughs> turns it around and makes your job easier to be able to talk about their lifestyle and not just sell why you were going to be able to find that lifestyle for them anyway. Right, exactly. So, well, and it kind of it. breaks the ice with clients too. Absolutely. It's that shiny that because it, it'll make them pause for a second and they're like, yeah. yeah. What, what, what does that, what does that mean? Well, let me explain, you know, exactly. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> but that's, what's cool about the lifestyle locator it sort of says what it is, but it also sparks conversation and mm -hmm. interest. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty cool. Right. Yeah, um, right. And, and I can imagine other real estate agents in the area are looking at you guys with a little bit of envy. <laughs> it's like, yeah. you know, yeah. I wish I thought of that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a super good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're happy to be the only ones in East Tennessee. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and you yes. shall remain that. that that's awesome. yeah. Yep. And ladies, thank you so much for letting us, you know, share your story today. And I want to say you both have amazing stories, and they're and and they're real stories. So if you guys want to learn more about what we're talking about, go look them up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Jamie, Dorn Lane and Nikki Dorn. So that, go look them up and find out what their story is all about because it's incredible. It's incredible. And you'll know why they're called the Lifestyle Locators. And to anybody out there that's watching and going to be watching this podcast, if you have questions about your brand or want to learn more about us at Brandface, you can go to discussyourbrand.com. That's discuss your brand.com and schedule a free 30 minute conversation with possibly us definitely with one of our staff it's no obligation call and it's just discuss anything that you want to know about us or branding yep and if you like what you heard today and love these ladies as much as we do hey we encourage you to like it share it and ding, subscribe so you can be the first to know when the next podcast premieres Thank you, ladies, so much for coming on with us. We appreciate it. We love our relationship with you. We're here to help you in every way possible to become everything you want to be in the Lifestyle Locator. So thank you. We're for very part proud of to have you yeah. in this. Thank family. you. Thank you. We're so happy to be part of the Brand Face family. Yeah. And it truly is a family. Right. And we appreciate everything you've done for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Mwah. All right, guys. Hey, you know what it's about? It's about prosperity. And when we say that, we're not just talking about money. There's nothing wrong with that. But when we say prosperity, we're talking about the abundant life, the 360 of an abundant life that we truly wish that every one of you will achieve. But we know at Brand Face that prosperity favors the bold. So we say be, be bold, bold, folks, bold. especially with your brand, just like these beautiful ladies are every day. All right, guys, we'll see you next time on Be Bold.